U.S. Air Force 6th Generation Fighter Enters Testing Stage U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall announced on Wednesday that the 6th Generation Jet Fighter has entered the development stage. Speaking during an event at the Heritage Foundation, the Secretary revealed that the Air Force has started engineering and manufacturing this state-of-the-art aircraft. Kendall did not provide additional details because of the program's classified nature. However, he disclosed that the next-generation fighter would feature new weapons, sensor systems, and various drones to accompany the aircraft on missions. We think we'll have the capability by the end of the decade, Kendall said. The sixth-generation fighter is expected to be the centerpiece of the U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance NGAD systems. Prototype in 2020, the U.S. Air Force announced that it had built a full-scale prototype of the NGAD fighter for testing and evaluation. Air Force acquisition SAR Will Roppers said that the NGAD test flights have broken records and that he was impressed by the integration of digital technology into the real world. What we did was an experimental prototype, Kendall explained. We basically had an X-Plane program which was designed to reduce the risk of some of the key technologies that we would need for a production program. Despite the progress on the highly classified 6th generation fighter program, the aircraft manufacturer has yet to be revealed. Aerospace analyst Richard Abulefia stressed that Kendall's announcement might indicate that the Air Force has settled on a single design by a single contractor. Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman are all possible contenders for the NGAD fighter program, he said. The U.S. Department of Defense expects that advanced missile and next-generation fighter jets will enhance end-to-end -end strike force systems, increasing the potential for deterring future threats. Thanks to the newest updates, we revealed some clues about who's likely building the Air Force's secret new fighter jet. There are two programs referred to as Next Generation Air Dominance, one which is administered by the U.S. Air Force, which was published, check out the video in the description, and one more by the U.S. Navy. Both envision the fighter jet of the future not as a singular aircraft, but as a system of systems, a collection of different aircraft performing different tasks as a team. Lockheed Martin and Boeing were the program's two main participants and likely carried their proposals over when the Navy began its next-generation air dominance initiative. The Lockheed Martin Skunk Works design and is likely to have first appeared as a concept drawing of the F-AXX, the U.S. Navy's predecessor to the sixth-generation fighter. The U.S. Navy Boeing established the F-AXX program in 2012 arguably the world's first initiative to procure a sixth-generation fighter jet, splintered into several programs rather than resulting in the purchase of an actual aircraft. Boeing released a whole host of artwork associated with the next-generation air dominance. While all of these concepts appear to be similar at first glance, they were also subtly different. Most of these images were carried over from the days of the F-AXX. During 2008-2010, the company published a number of concept images featuring tailless carrier-borne aircraft. Some of these were not particularly detailed, while others had a fair bit of artistic vision behind them. It should be noted that while Boeing's designs were often used by various media channels to illustrate the S-AXX and the sixth-generation fighter, they also laid the ground for another kind of illustration. These were designs made by independent artists, which were then confused with Boeing's own designs by laymen and experts alike. While this is not a unique phenomenon, it is especially common when it comes to the sixth-generation fighter. For example, many of its depictions, both official and unofficial, were created by famous Argentinian industrial artist Rodrigo Avella, a man who can be said to have been single-handedly responsible for how we imagine the next-generation air dominance today. Avella said in an email to Aerotan that he has never collaborated with any of the companies working on the next-generation air dominance sixth-generation fighter, however, it is likely that some of them have bought his art from online stores. Sometimes, as with the case of his cover of Popular Mechanics, Avella's pictures were used deliberately 
and with a proper indication of authorship. But there have been occasions where even the more prominent aviation outlets have attributed these images to various companies, such as Boeing. However, when issuing news and announcements regarding its advanced weapons programs, Boeing continues to almost exclusively use images from the F-AXX era, with very few exceptions. One such exception appeared in 2016, when Boeing released a new concept image of a sixth-generation jet floating in the sky. Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a slightly modified earlier picture, with the color changed and the canards removed. Does it represent the change of vision, or is it just a placeholder quickly pulled together by one of the company's artists? Only Boeing knows the answer. But getting this collaborative combat aircraft, CCA, concept to team pilot with drones, reality presents many challenges. Collaborative combat aircraft is something in our future, General Mark D. Kelly, commander of Air Combat Command, told a group of reporters Wednesday during an Air Force and Space Forces, Air, Space and Cyber Conference in National Harbor, Maryland. The discussion was, how are we going to get there? Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall that the competition for the CCA will begin in fiscal year 2024. The CCA concept is one component of the larger NGAD collaborative effort, which also includes plans to develop manned combat aircraft, weapons, sensors, networks, and next generation, battle management systems, jet propulsion technologies, and more. The so-called manned-unmanned cooperative concept comes in a number of different flavors, ranging from allowing pilots to issue high-level commands, such as hang around here, or follow me, or attack it, to offering much more commands. A little. Dependency. Functionality that supports leveraging high levels of artificial intelligence. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.